if you are a beginner guitarist, there's a really high chance that you are making one of these five mistakes. To help you avoid them, in this video I'm going to go through each and every one of them, so you won't make them anymore. After watching this video, your acoustic guitar playing will become much lighter, smoother, you'll be more comfortable with your pick, and most important of all, you will be able to play fast strumming patterns. So let me combine all these five mistakes in one and show you how it looks. This is how you shouldn't play. Hey everyone, this is Andrew and welcome to the first fret lessons. Our goal is to help you become a guitarist people want to listen to. If this is your first time watching us, be sure to subscribe. We are a small growing channel and it will help us a lot. Plus, we post free lessons here on YouTube each and every week. This video is a must watch for beginners, but if you already have some experience, I'd also recommend you watching it. Because you still may be making one of these mistakes, especially the fifth one. It's really subtle and most of the people can't really spot it. I did I didn't come up with these mistakes myself. I'm familiar with them because of my teaching experience. Four out of five beginner students make them all the time. I got statistics to prove it. This is math. If you don't fix them, you'll sound really rough, really rude, your pick will get stuck all the time, and you know, you will be a guitarist people don't want to listen to. And if you don't work on them in the beginning, it will be really hard later because you'll get used to playing wrong. So without further ado, let me walk you through each and every one of them. Okay, mistake number one. You shouldn't be strumming with your elbow like this. You know, it may look cool, you can see a lot of live videos with rock stars like doing something like this and uh, it can look really great, really effective when you're playing live, you got adrenaline pumping and so on and so forth. Occasionally you can do it, but most of the time you should be using your wrist like this. Why should you do it, you may ask me. Let me explain. First of all, you don't have as much control when you are playing like this with your elbow. You sound a little stiff if you play like this. You know, you can't accent the notes, for example, or if you're playing country like boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka. It's impossible to do it when you're playing like that. You just... You will miss uh, your strings most of the time. And uh, also, if you're playing something slow, mid-tempo, like, like this. You can get away with using your elbow, but if we got... Something like this, well, it's practically impossible. I mean, <laughs> no, you won't be able to do that. So pay close attention to what you're doing with your right hand. Of course, when you are playing with your wrist, your elbow will move a little bit, but it shouldn't be like this, you know? <laughs> so yeah. This is the right way to do it. Mistake number two has to do with our picks. Some people hold it really, really tight. For example, I'm playing the right way. And now I'll play with the exact same, you know, attack power, but I will hold my pick really tight. Oh, as you can hear, it sounds really rough, really rough and loud. If I relax my pick a little bit, you know, these two fingers, it sounds nice and smooth. Holding it tight. Not good at all. It's a bit irritating, if you ask me. Uh, so, you should keep uh, the nice balance. You should hold it uh, tight enough so it doesn't 
fall off, just uh, find the right tone with your right hand. If you are used to holding it tight, start like this and just relax it a bit. Till it sounds like this. Before we move on to the third mistake, if you like this lesson, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It will help us a lot. Thank you. So, mistake number three. It has to do with the pick again, but this time I'd like to talk about the angle with which you attack your strings. A lot of people, a lot of beginner guitarists play like this. And let's imagine that this is a string and their pick is going like this, just up and down. You see, with this angle. And it's just wrong. Once again, it's really rough, irritating, and you can get stuck. Your pick just gets stuck between the strings. Like this. It's really loud, it's uh, bad. What you should do is uh, play with this angle. I hope you can see it, like this. Try to play like into guitar, if you know what I mean. Like, like this. This is your angle. And as you can see... It sounds much better than... And some people are even playing like... Out of the guitar, something like this. It's horrible as well. So yeah, this is your angle. And when you do upstroke... It's like away from the guitar. In, out, in, out. This is how you should play. This is how you shouldn't play. There is a really nice uh, trick to help you find this angle to catch it. Put your pick on the low E string and uh, push it down like this. And you see, here's our angle. You automatically get it here. Just push it. And yeah, here it is. Play like this. Okay, mistake number four. For example, let's uh, play you know, classic down, down, up, up, down, up, strum. What you shouldn't be doing is playing like this. You know, when your hand moves only when you play the strums. Like... It sounds really robotic and not groovy at all. What you should be doing is playing like this. Your hand has to move all the time. You should count like one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. You gotta catch this rhythm. So as you can see, even when I'm not strumming, my hand still keeps moving. It's like uh, your own metronome. Because if you don't move your hand like this, you just won't be playing in time. And if you're playing like... Like 16th note strums. Like... Something like this. You should be... Because once again, if I only play the needed strums... It doesn't sound really good. And when I'm... If I catch it first... sounds much and much better. 
And mistake number five is a subtle one. Try to spot it. I'm playing it the right way. I mean, I don't use my elbow, my pick is all right, but something's a bit off. So what's wrong? I was scraping the pick across my strings like this. While it should sound just like one note. For example, when I'm down strumming, it's just one sound, not like not like this. This sounds better then. I mean, of course, there are some strums where you have to do it, but, uh, you know. I mean, it's pretty obvious when you have to do it, but if you play like this all the time, like just scraping your pick like that it sounds a bit boring a bit lifeless you know there is no energy here especially if you're playing some rock song it has to be really tight your strums have to pack a punch and if you're so how can you avoid it you should throw your hands a little bit faster like this uh, you don't have to use force or anything like that it's all about the speed just throw it faster imagine that you're a drummer you know, like you have a stick and you're playing the drum drummers don't play like this you know they don't do this like hit hit that's what you should do so let me quickly go through all of it once again. We play with our wrist, not with our elbow. We don't hold the pick tight. Our angle is like this, not like this. Our hand moves all the time, not like this. And we attack our strings properly. We do it with speed, not like... I recommend you writing all of these mistakes down on a piece of paper and checking yourself all of the time. They are not uh, that hard to fix, but if you do it, you will sound much, much better. If you enjoy playing acoustic guitar, check one of the lessons that you see here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find them useful as well. And okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.